Welcome back everyone. Let's learn how can we install Ubuntu on VMware Workstation today. Uh, Ubuntu has released the version 21 recently and uh, we'll be installing it on VMware Workstation today. Uh, first of all, you'll go to ubuntu.com and you'll click on download and then you can click on 21.10 Ubuntu desktop or you can click on the Ubuntu desktop and scroll down over here. Once you'll click it, it would download a 2.9 or 2.1 gigabyte of a file, uh, which would be an ISO file required for the installation of Ubuntu. So we'll start the installation with uh, VMware Workstation Professional. Uh, you'll have to create the virtual machine. I'll keep the settings as recommended. Press next, and then you'll select the ISO file. Once the file is selected, you'll press next. You'll write the name, for example, test user and uh, test user. You'll give it a password. Make sure you remember this password because it would be required later. And then we'll put it in a folder on our virtual machines. Select a path where you want to place them. I would highly recommend putting it in any other drive other than the C drive so that we don't face any issues later. Press next, that's the base requirement for Ubuntu. That's uh, 20 GB. Uh, I'll prefer storing the file into a single file, then press finish. Now, if you want to modify the settings on your virtual machine, you can edit this button over here and it would modify the settings of your virtual machine. For example, if I want to issue around about uh, 16 GB of RAM and uh, for the processors also, I would choose four processors and uh, number of course per processor, that would be fine. Now, just to remind you again that if you are using VMware Workstation, make sure that you have virtualization enabled on your motherboard. Uh, you can see these screenshots appearing on my screen. You can go to the BIOS of the computer and enable the virtualization. Otherwise, virtual machines will not work on the computer. Uh, further here in the settings, we set it up the processor as I showed you. Uh, you can even enable the uh, network interface card or completely disable it if you don't want it to go on the internet. Um, USB connection can be enabled if you are using USB 3 or USB 2.0, you can enable it from these settings. Uh, further, it would automatically detect the uh, display. Uh, in options, if you want to change the version of it or any settings from here, you can do that. If you want to share some folders between the host operating system and the virtual machine, they can be enabled over here. Snapshots are a really good option if you are making any major changes to the system and you don't want to lose the operating system or the functionality of it and you want to preserve it at the current state, we use the snapshots and we can revert back to the previous snapshot without losing anything. Um, same thing goes for auto-protect. If you want to enable auto-protect, it would keep on creating the snapshots over the period of time access control if it's encrypted or not and then rest of the settings are um, uh, up to you what you want to set up. So that's uh, pretty much about the basic settings of your virtual machine and uh, further if you want to upgrade the virtual machine you can click on this one and um, I think I'll keep it to the uh, maximum level that we have. So we will alter the settings for this one and press finish. So the settings are done. Now we'll install or we'll start the process of installing the virtual machine. So as you can see, it's installed and uh, now we'll provide the password that we provide uh, during the installation. And that's the initial interface of it. Online accounts, you'll have to first set it up. You can either sign in by Ubuntu single sign-on or Google or Nextcloud or Microsoft account. But I'll skip it at the moment and uh, I don't want to send the info. 
press next and location services i'll keep it as it is and uh, press done so that's the installation of our ubuntu which is the latest version of it and if you go to the settings off and uh, click on about you can find that it's ubuntu version 21.10 then you can click on this one to go to the files on your machine your downloads pictures and stuff then uh, you went to software as you can see there are lots of applications up here you can install them as per your own requirements then we have firefox installed on it as you can see and uh, we can browse on it as well then we can go to the settings of it and uh, you can find all related information related to bluetooth you can change the background appearance of it from light to dark notifications if you want to receive any if you want to search the files uh, different applications which are installed for example calculator and disk and the uh, rest of the things uh, further you can set up the privacy settings like if, if you want you can turn on or off the location settings uh, then online account sounds adjust it as per your requirements display the resolution screen resolution uh, the mouse buttons keyboards printers removable media if you have connected any the color combinations region and language accessibility and here you can add the user accounts as well further you can set the date and time and uh, that's pretty much about the installation of our latest version of uh, uh, Ubuntu operating system and uh, I hope you liked it. That's it for today. If you want to shut down the system, simply click on this button and power off your system and power off. That's it for today. Thank you very much.